I know they're going to say whatever they my truth, but these experiences that I'm telling you about are factually. Kanye West has finally responded to the baseless accusations made by comedian Kathy Griffin. Kathy, famous for her bold and often provocative jokes, has been drawing attention for making several unproven claims against the music icon. He may be physically abusing her, and at the very least, 100% I think he's psychologically abusing her. Now, he locked her outside their apartment and she was totally naked because he wanted to humiliate her. She is openly sharing her thoughts and guesses about Kanye's relationships, throwing around some serious allegations. She has been hinting at some unhealthy dynamics between him and his new wife, even suggesting possible physical and emotional abuse. You call somebody a so much, they say, I'm a Kanye, however, is totally denying all of this, while accusing her of trying to tarnish his reputation. He is convinced that this is all a calculated move to paint him in a bad light. But he's also ready to call out the comic on her misleading tactics. His responses are offering another side to her allegations, giving us a chance to see the dark side of this whole instance. So what does Kanye West think about this new drama? Are these allegations a strategic attempt to cast the rapper in a negative light, or could there be more hidden beneath the surface? Stick around to find out. The 46-year-old rapper has replied to the baseless claims made by comedian Kathy Griffin about his relationship, all based on how they appear and act in public. He has expressed his thoughts on her claims, emphasizing that they are baseless, and an attempt to exploit his relationship and public image. He believes that Griffin's speculations are not only damaging, but also a reflection of her lack of understanding and respect for personal boundaries. The Chicago-based rapper has been open about his loving and supportive relationship with Bianca, contrasting sharply with Griffin's portrayal of their bond. He sees Griffin's conjectures as a blatant attempt to tarnish the image of his marriage and exploit it for public attention. He stresses that his relationship with Bianca is built on mutual respect, love, and understanding, far away from the abusive dynamics suggested by the female comedian. Kanye is no stranger to public scrutiny and media controversies, but he finds these accusations particularly distasteful as they attempt to paint a negative picture of his character and his relationship. He believes that such baseless claims can significantly impact his public image and personal life, especially when they come from fellow celebrities like Griffin, I'm going to get in trouble for this video. It's going to be kind Now, all this drama has popped up after a video posted by Kathy on her YouTube channel. In this video, she talks about her worries and thoughts on Kanye West and his new wife, Bianca Sensori's relationship, judging by how they act in public appearances. Kathy's thinking there could be some abusive stuff going on, both mentally and physically. And that she points out that Bianca doesn't really have a public voice, no social media, no public statements, which makes her worried about who holds the power in the relationship. She seems bothered by how different they dress. Bianca's clothes are usually extremely cozy, while Kanye's all covered up. She wonders if this is how the rapper is controlling her. She also brings up a moment in Italy where Bianca was in a situation that didn't look consensual, and more like Kanye West showing his dominance. Kathy even called out Kim Kardashian, who also wore such clothes but was doing it to promote her brand, Skims, and seemed in control of her image and actions. Bianca, on the other hand, doesn't appear to be promoting anything or have control, making Kathy question why she appears in public like this. She wraps up by asking for others' point of view, while claiming that she doesn't know Bianca personally. This is not the first time Griffin has found herself at the center of controversy for targeting famous individuals like Kanye West. In 2017, she stirred a nationwide uproar when she posted a picture of herself holding a bloody mask resembling Donald Trump. The backlash was immediate and severe, as she lost her co-hosting role on CNN's New Year's Eve program and was facing multiple tour date cancellations. It's interesting to note that West has a great connection with the former president, and he rolls well with the old guy. It's also possible that Griffin is filled with animosity due to this incident. She doesn't like Kanye's influence as he is younger and more successful than her. Griffin has received considerable criticism for making jokes about the alleged mental health struggles of Britney Spears during a conversation with Larry King, and West appears to maintain a strong, supportive, and empathetic friendship with Britney. Money right, and then you go to war. So I'm going to war. You know, I don't, I don't have... Kathy Griffin's recent claims about Kanye have definitely shaken things up in the celeb world with Kanye brushing them off as nothing but baseless rumors. But if you really look at his recent actions and appearances, 
it seems like there might be more going on. Well, Kanye and his new flame reportedly got banned from a Venice boat company after some explicit images of them surfaced online, causing a lot of outrage and raising a lot of questions about what they were up to. The company wanted nothing to do with it, and made it clear that kind of behavior isn't welcomed. This whole situation kind of backs up what Griffin's been saying about their relationship. Then, there was this walk they took in Florence that got everyone's attention, not just because they were there, but because of what Bianca was wearing. Kanye didn't seem to mind the attention, and was even telling Bianca how to pose for pictures while everyone was watching. This makes us wonder if Griffin was onto something about who's really in control in their relationship. Kanye is known for his unpredictable behavior and controversial comments, which has got him a lot of trouble. He has said some pretty controversial stuff, and has even lost some big partnerships because of it. This kind of aligns with how Griffin's been describing him, as someone who doesn't really respect others' feelings and opinions. While he has always been bold and outspoken, his present wife doesn't seem to have much of a voice in public, with zero social media presence or public declarations. This huge difference in how they present themselves has fueled speculation about whether there's an imbalance in their relationship and whether Bianca really has any say in how she's presented among people. The stuff that happened in Venice and Florence, along with how different they are in public, paints a picture of a relationship where one person's calling the shots, lending some weight to Griffin's worries about possible abuse and exploitation. A lot of people have ignored her claims about Kanye as just rumors, but looking closer at the rapper's actions and how he is with Bianca reveals some pretty questionable stuff. The team members who used to work for Kanye's fashion line have also come out saying he used some adult content and scare tactics to keep staff in line. They've said Kanye showed them explicit pictures of Kim Kardashian and used fear and manipulation to stay in control. Nah. People who've worked at Yeezy and Adidas have shared times when Kanye would play adult films during Yeezy staff meetings, talk about such content, and even show personal photos of Kim during job interviews. This kind of behavior, which was often pretty sexual, was mostly directed at women. What's been shared by former Yeezy staff gives a pretty unsettling look into how Kanye treats his people. Showing a body off, showing this, showing that, and I didn't realize that that... A source connected to Kim Kardashian has reportedly spoken out about her concerns regarding Kanye West and his alleged wife. A British tabloid claimed that Kim was worried about Kanye controlling Bianca and wanted to warn her. The source stated that Kim sees similarities between Bianca's situation and her own past relationship with Kanye, expressing concerns over Bianca being molded into Kanye's ideal of the perfect woman. Kim reportedly feels like she wants to advise Bianca on how to maintain her self-image and not become someone else's puppet, emphasizing the importance of staying true to oneself. Kim Kardashian has been open about her troubled marriage to Kanye West, revealing the truth about their relationship dynamics. She filed for divorce in February 2021 after close to seven years of marriage, citing irreconcilable differences. Post-divorce, Kanye made headlines for controversial posts pertaining to his family, leading to a public fallout. Kim addressed the constant attacks and Kanye's obsession with trying to control and manipulate their situation negatively and publicly causing further pain for all involved. She expressed her wish to handle all matters regarding their children privately and resolve any issues amicably. These revelations from Kim Kardashian provide a deeper insight into Kanye West's personality and his approach to relationships, reinforcing the concerns raised by Kathy Griffin. The shadows of his past relationship with Kim and the ongoing speculations about his current relationship with Bianca Sensori paint a picture of a man obsessed with control and manipulation. As we wrap up, this high-profile clash has sparked a lot of questions and debates. Was Kathy Griffin's bold speculation just a concoction, or she is speaking the truth? What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments. That's it for today's video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.